2 seconds second corinthians 6 verse 13 and 14 i did that just to take another page on the record of people Rebecca Toria Bashanda. Um go ahead, go ahead with thirteen, go ahead with thirteen and fourteen. Just want to I want I just, listen to me, I'm not even trying to find any scripture right now. I want the Lord to lead me into scriptures. Amen. Thank you. Go ahead, go ahead. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Second Corinthians chapter six. Verse 13, reading from King James Version. Now, for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children. Be ye also enlarged. Verse 14, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? All right. Bless bless God for this word, people. I'm going to say, what's, why, she, why is she coming with this Thank word? Why is she, why is she coming with God. this? God dropped this in my spirit because he have the revelation for it. You see, people Amen. of God, as I was, as the Lord have me to be speaking, and we're speaking because pride, arrogancy, Rebellion, name it, all these spirit cause people to even miss out from getting the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I speak earlier, as I speak earlier, people of God, about myself here, that God has called in such a time like this. And I know that there are many people, many others out there that God has called that my God Almighty probably the same on the same level of education or you know name it but everybody God have in their own pe peculiar way yes. and many people they have the misunderstanding of what the word is saying now, the word of God come and it said here in, the, in verse 13, For we, for now for a recompense in the same, I speak unto my children. Now, it is for each and every one. It is for every one of us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It is for every one of us to get and understand what the Spirit of God is saying. So true. Speak Holy Spirit. One Holy Spirit. It is for every one of us to get and understand what the Spirit of God is saying. Hmm. It is for us to get the understanding and not to be ignorant children because many of us are too puffed up in our own ways I want to hear what i'm saying people and these are things that causes the spirit of god not able to rest you have to understand the Lord, he, he will dwell and he will rest. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Amen. Oh. There are times when he will dwell and there are times when he will rest. Amen, amen. Marco Seturi Kandorbo Shanda. And he dwell, my God Almighty. If if um um I know Minister Gay getting ready for work, but if our dear teacher Crystal, if you can help me to tap into the the scripture where we talk about yeah. dwell and he talk about rest. But I I suppose I suppose to have it. But as I said, people of God, this is how God would do with me. He would not have me to. 
to get the word to you know like to get the message together and name it but um, i read the bible i do this but i know exactly that we have spoken just the other day about god dwelling and resting Praise God, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. And I know I have it here written, but uh, it's just to find where he speak about it. But anyway, if Teacher Crystal, if you do find it, you can let me know. But what I'm trying to yes. say, for the dwelling people of God, he dwell, he, will, he, he said he will not dwell into a temple that made by hands. You understand what I'm saying? He said, he even said, the heaven of the heaven cannot contain me, much less a house that a man built. I think it's somewhere in where he was speaking to Isaiah, Solomon. I'm sorry, I have it in Isaiah 32 and 18, Apostle. Read it, let me hear it. Amen. Isaiah 32, verse 18 from King James Version says, my people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in safe dwelling, and in a quiet resting place. God's Ooh. word. Amen. Glory be to God. But where I am talking yeah. right now, I am talking where E God was talking because it's not about us to dwell and then God is not in the midst. It's about Him to dwell. And to rest where we are concerned. You get what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. Glory be to God. So, hallelujah, hallelujah. what I'm trying to say is that he said he will, he is he, not the God that can dwell in the midst of a place that made by hand. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, with this word, bless the name of the Lord, with this word that he has given to me, he said, now for a recompense in the same, I speak unto my children, be ye also an large. Let's give God praise because he's coming with something. Amen. He wants for each and every one of us to get what? Enlarged in him. And the only way we can get enlarged, we need spiritual baking soda or spiritual baking powder. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. Amen. 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 People of God, you all just lift your antenna this day because I know it's going to bring some things to just help us. Hallelujah. For us Amen. to get enlarged, we have to have that spiritual baking powder and that spiritual baking so drinking soda. It is a bake and it is a drink. To heat and to drink. And what is God talking about? We have to have, my God Almighty, the spiritual, my God Almighty, even more than the physical. We have to have, my God Almighty, the Holy Spirit in the midst to help to enlarge us in God. And for us to get enlarged in God, we have to, my God Almighty, get rid of many behavior. Amen. Amen. We have to get rid of many behavior. Oh, you yeah. see, God is fighting our battle, people of God. That is the reason why he tell us in Exodus 14, 14, he said, he, God is fighting for you and you shall all your peace. He's not telling you to all your peace from praising him, worshiping him, glorifying him. He's telling you to all your peace from, from, from stop being a warmonger. Stop being a warmonger. Stop arguing with somebody when they are arguing. Uh -huh. Amen. Stop carrying on when some when so, when somebody carrying on and doing whatever they are doing. You don't you don't need to match up yourself with them because you and them is not the same. Uh oh, Amen. 
instruction. You and the person are not the same, so you don't need to tell to tail and head to head and body to body and bunks to bunks and name it with them. You don't need to say, all your peace and I shall fight for you. Amen. So what I'm getting at right here is that he said, my God Almighty, he want for us to be, he said, be he also enlarged. And he come here, people, God, he said, look, 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 look at this verse, verse here. Now for a rec no, recompense, recompense in the same. He is the God that will recompense against those that coming up against you. Oh my God. Thank you. You understand me? He is the God that, listen to me, he is the God that will recompense and deal with whatever situation that need to dealt with. You understand me? He is the God that will do it. It is not for us to get off puff and try to say, who you think you're talking to? You, you know who you're talking to or you know this or you know that? Name it and what of you. We don't need that. We don't need that because when we come to Christ Jesus, he said we are to come to him as little children. And when we come to God, whatever we used to do, my God Almighty, must be what abolished. It must go away out of our life. It must not remain. Amen, amen. Amen. And it is so sad. It is so sad. There are many children of God. The parents is to be blamed. The way they grow. Some of you out there. The way that your, your parents grow. Some of you out there. The way, the way your pe thank you, my teacher, the way the, the, your parents raise you out there. They raise you up, my God Almighty, to only, some of you raise up only to like some people, love some people, and hate some people. Uh -huh. And that's not what the Lord Jesus is about. So that is the reason why when many come into the body of Christ, you find some people, they will sit in church and as long as they sit there, they will not open their mouth and say, Kem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they come yeah. in as a spectator yeah. to spectate who they think they can match up with to have to be a friend. Mm -hmm. Because they are looking down on others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of you all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. What a something with my bonus to bring this this day. Somebody's going to be changed today. Thank you. I receive the change, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father God. Thank you, Father. Marco said to the candle of So right here, my God Almighty, in the 14 verse, he said, Be ye not unequally yoke together. Please, people, nobody disturb me, no on blowing, no this, no that. Please keep your phone mute if you have noise. Let me flow. I'm depending on the Holy Spirit, people. I don't write out message. I don't sit down and practice how to speak or to say. That's why when I make mistake, either minister gay or the Holy Ghost will correct me. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. So let me flow, let me flow, people. Let me flow. I'm flowing for you all so that you can able to flow along with me. Amen, amen. So right here said, be ye not unequally yoked together. You see, when many people hear that, they are saying, oh, God said I must, must not be unequally yoked because I am saved and you are not saved. Get away from me, you stink. You're uh -oh. dirty. <laughs> you're, you're nasty. You're this, you're that. You don't see that I'm clean. I've been washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -oh. You don't see that I'm this, I'm that. Name it. And right there, my God Almighty, they, they would say, my God Almighty, that you are, you are, you know, like, like someone would said, myself here and you, we don't, you know, we are, uh, I remember when I was, when I um, just came to America, when I just came to America, I come here with, with 
come here with some money here yeah, because I was coming straight from Japan. I was coming straight from Japan because, you know, I was doing this singing and I would travel with my brother. Um, they call him Trilla You. You know, I, I, I travel with him to Japan and, you know, came back and so forth. So anyway, things, thing wasn't that great with me because if you come to a country and you don't come in here with a, a large amount of money to start life and da 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 da, you know you are nowhere yet. Get what I'm saying? Right, right. So anyway, in the midst of everything, I happen to be around family because I love my family. Love them. Amen. 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 I love, listen to me, I love family. I love my family and I love people, fa people and their family. That's me. Can't help it. That's why God have me to be who I am today and I'm so happy. Amen. Amen. And in the midst of everything, my God Almighty, I was around my God Almighty, a sister of mine. I was helping this sister doing so much things with her children and so what is concerned. And one day, I said to the sister, can, can we, something I asked her if we can do. And she looked at me and said, no, what happened is that I asked her if she can um, help me. Because that time money was going, you know, I didn't have money that time. So I asked her if she can give me no, I did have money, but I wanted not to charge for anything, but just to say, can you give me taxi fee? And the tax, they, you know, in New York, it was dollar those times, dollar cab. Mm -hmm. So I asked for a dollar. And when I asked for the dollar, the person get real mad. At that time, I was helping the person, helping. Mm. And she get real mad. And I, and you know, we were there talking and she said, it, it, it turned out that I was so upset. And I said, I said, why are you always like this and da, 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 da. And the answer was, you need to leave me alone because both of us are not on the same level. <laughs> and I walk away like Lena Lizard with the tears running down my eyes. Because at that time, people of God, I did not own my own place. I did not have... Oh, Jesus, why this thing eating me so hard in my spirit? Ooh. Hallelujah. Ooh. Somebody is going Holy through the Holy same Holy thing. Somebody is bearing the same thing. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody on the line is bearing the same thing. Ooh, gee, I could feel it. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. Somebody is bearing the Hallelujah. same thing. Same and the person said to me, the person said to me, you need to go about your business because we are not on the same level. So I, I said, oh, why, I said, why are you saying that? Are we not the same mother name, same father? I said, are we? I said, why would you say that I come here and I help you with your children while you're able to go and work and come in back and all that? I could be about my business. Name it because those days I was busy, body, you know, looking man and all them stuff. And name it, people of God. I could be, could, could, could be anywhere else. And when the person said that yeah, to me, yeah, I was yeah. so broken. What I'm trying to say, people of God, is that when God tell us that we are, um, you know, that be ye not unequally yoked together. He's not talking about fellowshipping with somebody by seeing somebody talking, even though the person is a sinner. He's, talk, he's not talking about being nice to the, for you not to be nice with the person, name it or whatever. He's talking about if you are saved and the person wants to go to party, you cannot go to the party with the person. If the person cursing bad word, you cannot curse bad word with the person. Name it, what have you, people of God. If the person, my God Almighty, wanted for you to be in the midst of what they are in, you cannot do it. He's talking about people of God for you, my God Almighty, to show the Christ in you. Amen. 
Not for you to be a follower, but they must follow you, not you follow them. As you follow Christ, they must follow you. Amen. Amen. Be ye not unequally yoked together. God said, be, listen to me, listen to what he said. Be ye not unequally yoked together. Listen to this revelation. If that is the reason why he come again into my God Almighty, I believe the same second, um, the same place here. Let me see something. My God Almighty, what a God, what a God. Well, maybe it's not in the same here, but he also speak in first, first Corinthians 7. He speak about marriage. And he said, my God Almighty, if you, my God Almighty, are not saved, if you are saved and your husband are not saved, your life must change him. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying. Yeah, amen. amen. If you notice what God said here, be ye not unequally yoked together. That means not because monkey same you're going to say and you're going to do and monkey do. You must able to have Christ in you for the next person to come and have Christ in them as well. Amen. I want to be honest with what I'm saying, people. They must not lead you into what they want to do, but you must lead them to Christ. Mm. Yes, yeah. amen. Yes, God. amen. That's the word. Mm. Hallelujah. They must lead you, you must lead them to Christ. Do be ye not unequally yoked to, together. Yes, that means, my God Almighty, the purification of your heart must able to change another. That means you're not supposed to, my God Almighty, have certain spirit on the inside so that you're going to let somebody feel as if they, they are not a person. <laughs> when we hear what I'm saying, people? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Each and all we go. Be not unequally yoked. Together with unbelievers, with unbelievers. That means if I am, listen to me, revelation knowledge come in so many ways, you know. It don't mean it, and it, listen to me, and it don't mean that you are to run and get somebody that is unsaved. You're not supposed to run and do that. But if you and the person started out from, from donkey years or whatever, you have children, the person name it, you all are lovers together, then you get saved and you come to Christ. You must not stay the same together. Amen. Not to not to stay together. I'm talking about your ways must not remain the same while you're with the person. You must able, as the word before here said, my God Almighty. Now for a recompense in the same, I speak unto my children. That's in the thirteen verse. Be ye also enlarged. You must, your spirit man must be enlarged so that you can able to help another. Mm. Yes, God. Yes. We all get what I'm saying, people. Clearly, yes. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. Marco because there are too much prejudice, cockatty, scornful, disgusting. Hatred, name it, hypocrisy, name it people, all kind of spirit, my God Almighty, operating in the children of God. That is the reason why you might find many live into a home and those that are living with them can change. Why? Because they see the behavior that is not Christ-like. Right. True. Yeah. Yeah. They see the behavior that is not Christ-like. And it is not for us as children of the Most High God. To my God Almighty, carry on as woolly guns. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. home, there was a brother that sing a song. He said, woolly gun, woolly gun, change your style. Come on, people. 
What is a woolly gun? A woolly gun is a person that is like a warmonger, always want to trace. Uh -huh. Always have something bad to say. Always want to put you down with their mouth. Always want to fight. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Always want to criticize. Always want to bring down. Yeah. Yeah. We are, as children of God, these kind of behavior not supposed to remain in us. Mm. One of you all hear what I'm saying, people? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. These kind of behavior don't belong in us. Yes. Yeah. It don't. Yeah, sure don't. Because it shows, my God Almighty, that some pride, pride causes people to have dirty behavior. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whether you want to believe it or not. And let me say something to somebody. Not because you see a person quiet. Quiet don't mean humble. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Quiet oh. do not mean mm -hmm. humble. Do not let a quiet person fool you. Mm -hmm. Quiet don't mean humble. Quiet can be, my God Almighty, sneaky. Yeah. It can be because of our... Quiet can... Many times you see a person quiet, they can be one of the most bitterest person on the face of the earth. They are carrying a lot of bitterness on the inside. Many times you see a... You, you ever see a quiet person yet and that person don't smile? Just think of a snake. Think of a snake. Look at that person like that snake because that person, my, that person, my God Almighty, is carrying a lot of anger on the inside. So they, they don't need to smile. What am I smiling for when so and so is going on? And when that person open up their mouth, sometimes you might not even able to go about your business because they just want to talk, 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 talk and burden you with all kind of stuff. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has the righteousness with, un with the unrighteousness? Now, mm -hmm. look at these people of God and say, Oh, how is she, she going to put this? Because I know God is saying that we are not to mix and mingle into the midst with unbelievers. Don't go to their party. Don't sit down and gamble with them. Don't this, don't that. Don't yeah. da, da 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 But, can everybody say but? But. Uh, but. But. <laughs> As my God Almighty, because if you are in, if you are a child of the Most High God and they are unbelievers, it is not for you, I said again, to act like them. You must able yeah. to have the belief so that they can come to yeah. believe in Christ Jesus. And many times you might not even open up your mouth and speak, but your action and your behavior will let them want to come and serve God as well. Amen. Yes, God. Your action and your behavior. The only way a person can have good action and good behavior is only when the inside is pure. Pure. Yes. Amen. The Bible said a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God. Yes. Many times, my God Almighty, you can go into the house of God. And by going into the house of God, a person's behavior can turn you off so much. Yeah. They don't speak, yeah. but their ways, their action, their body language, yeah. the way they pass you, the way they look at you, the way they act. You can feel some people, uh -huh. my God Almighty energy, that it, it, is, it is saying, don't come near my dwelling, I don't like you. Amen. Many times in the house of God, these things happen. Amen. One of you all get what I'm saying. Amen. 
and still yet my God Almighty people like those they will believe that it's only them alone going to heaven <laughs> they will believe that because many read the Bible and they don't get the revelation of what God is saying one of you hardly what I'm saying people yeah. it is not yeah. for a person you want you need a husband you don't need to go into the the, the, the um, gambling house to get one you don't need to go here go there that is the reason why we must let God do the matching let God do the matching By amen amen Ooh, we do the let's let us do the waiting and let's go and let God do the, the matching. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen. Let God do hey. Yes, ma'am. Let God do the matching. It is for us, my God Almighty. As believers to treat the unbelievers with dignity De come on people treat the unbelievers with the best way that we can ever even let, let me tell you something people of God some of you Oh dear, have some calling on your life. You'll be surprised to know that some a, a criminal, a rapist, is just waiting on you to just say a word to them. A thief is just waiting on you to say a word to them. They call them criminal, all kind of names. They are just waiting on you to just say a word to them. And that word can just change them. I'm not talking about you say something and go and sleep in bed with them. Not that. But for you to just show a little love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? You know the Lord Jesus Christ love you. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, how, how, how could he love me? And, and, and the way I'm living and things is with me. and da, da, da. Oh, you know I was once like you. If you can, if, will, will, will you be able to listen to my testimony? Just a little testimony. Oh, oh, okay, go ahead and speak it. You tell them your testimony and how Jesus come in and what he does for you and name it and what have you and you have that peace because all they need is a peace in their spirit. Peace. Amen. Amen. So true. All they need is peace in their spirit and that spirit that is dragging and pulling them. If as long as it's able to go. That peace will come in and sit down. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not because. You see, the reason why many people are afraid of talking to people is because they don't have that relationship with Christ Jesus. The Spirit of God is not in them. Yeah. All they have in them is uh -huh. fear. All they have in them is fear. Fear. Yeah. And when you have fear on the inside, what it do? It have you to be afraid and have the word of God upside it down on the inside and say, no, God said I must not be, be unequally yoked so I cannot talk to that person. I don't want to have anything to do with that person. I, I, you know, I'm better than them. And let, let me say this to each and every one of us. None of us are better than anyone. It's just the grace Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ and his mercy. His mercy and his Amen. grace. Some people happen to have the mercy of God in their midst. Some happen to have the grace. Let me explain what I'm talking about. The mercy of God, it can even be where Satan territory is. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yes. Because if it wasn't for his mercy, if it wasn't for his mercy, he would destroy Satan. Destroy Satan. But his mercy is dear, telling Satan, back off from my people. I don't want to hurt you. You understand, people? The grace of God 
can only be on someone that choose to have that relationship and serving God in spirit and in truth, in righteousness and in holiness. And it will rest on you when you happen to be in the midst, like this empowerment line or many sanctuary out there where you have my God Almighty people. Marco said we cannot do it. Hallelujah. Where you happen, my God Almighty, to have people in the midst. And you, as a leader, the Lord call you forth and you're, the, the leader is serving God in spirit and in truth. And have that anointing on their life. And because God is in the midst, the grace of God will fall on those that come in the midst. Yes, it leads to the life yeah. that that person lives. Because if that person is not living a good life, the grace won't fall. That's why you find in many church, many sanctuary, you have people in there that are sick and they die. You have people that need deliverance to be set free and they live, live, live until they, some of them go back out in the world, name it, because the grace is not there to, to operate. Jesus. Mercy, Lord. The grace brings change. Yes, help us, God, help us, yes. The grace gives you a new beginning. The mercy of God call yes. you in. The grace of God yes. gives yes. you a new beginning while the mercy of God keep calling you in and say in, because I'm calling you, I am bringing protection in your midst. Uh, yes. That's what the mercy Amen. of God do. Uh, praise God. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. Yes. So right there, people of God, we need to get it and understand because many people, because the Bible said, be ye not unequally yoke. And when God said, be ye not unequally yoke, look at it, he's talking to us that come to him. That means the way you used to be with this person, that person, name it. Change that behavior. Change it. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm. yes, Lord. Thank you, God. That behavior need to be changed. Yes, yes. Because if you still come in, some of you, my God Almighty, still use certain word. The bad word, the F word. Some of you, my God, just as cheap you speak it out because it's right there in your spirit and you don't rebuke it. Talking worldwide, not just pointing on the line, talking to everyone that is hearing under the sound of my mm -hmm. voice. Mm -hmm. Whenever you all hear any form of bad words, and decent words, name it, come in your spirit, rebuke it. C c said you, you undecent word, get out of me. Yeah. Rebuke it, it know exactly what you're talking. You know the only, I was yeah. telling, I was telling somebody the other day that, I think his minister girl was saying to her, the best deliverance a person can get is when you make up your mind and say you don't want to. <laughs> but if you don't make up your mind, the deliverance cannot come. You have to tell yourself that it's you so want true. better. So true. You have to tell yourself Amen. that you want Amen. better. Amen. The only way a person can be delivered without being agreement with you delivering them unless their mind is not in right place. If the mind is Hallelujah. not in right place, like a person that retarded, handicapped, name it, or the demon messing with their mind, spirit messing with their mind and of their mind, you know, topsy-turvy where they can't function and think and name it and focus and all that. Per a person yeah. like that, you can pray for that person and help that person. If you are called to do so, if you have the grace on your life to do so. In the midst, my God Almighty, when he said unbelievers, remember when you come to Christ, you become a believer. Yes. 
you becomes a believer and if you believe in Christ Jesus whatever he love you must love whatever he don't love you must not love it you must not love it it, it is it must be righteousness and holiness people of God Righteousness and holiness. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. All that you used to do out there, you don't do it. And you see the thing about it, my God Almighty, with many, many people stuck in their ways because they have no one to teach them about it. And just imagine in many places like sanctuary, name it, you have many people, they are my God Almighty, the blind leading the blind. Can you imagine? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Can you imagine the blind leading the blind? Just imagine you have a leader, my God Almighty, that are prejudiced. What do you expect from that person? The Lord God Almighty has shown me, my God Almighty, because I have been in the midst of pastors, that my God Almighty, that pastor people of God specialize in love. Specialize. That pastor specializes in love and the Lord bringing some things to my spirit. Because my culture is different from his culture. He is my God Almighty intimidated. What am I talking about? They know my God Almighty that the culture of my God Almighty, hallelujah, Jamaicans. Back then... Jamaican people used to be almost like the number one people that used to fear God back then. I want you all hear what I'm saying, people. Back then, yeah. people yeah. used they used to fear God, serving God and fearing Him in fear and trembling. Yeah. Yeah. Because they know that they have no one else to depend upon but God. Many did not know about America. Many did not know about Canada, England, name it, all over. Many did not know it. So whatever they have, people used to pray more than ever over whatever they have. They used to, this, they, they, they used to stay close to God. Oh, yes. no. They used to pray for every little thing. They used to pray for every little thing. Prayer in school, prayer in church, prayer everywhere. Yes, thank you, God. But everything changed now. But in the midst, what I get to understand, being around my God Almighty, that man of God, you need to understand and notice I've been treated different from his own type of people. I want to all hear what I'm saying. I've been there, people. Yeah. I know what I'm talking. The, you see, yeah. when people don't know that you have the spirit of discernment, that's very sad. All right now. That's very, very sad. And I sat there and I discern everybody's spirit, people. I sat there and I discerned their spirit. I watched their, watch their action. I watched their behavior. They call to you. They talk with you. But they don't want to be your friend. Look at that. Isn't that sad? They don't want to hold a conversation with you. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. They might try to talk to you to find out what is in your guts. What is inside your belly? What is in your spirit? But from the moment they hear your intention that it is great and even greater than theirs, they start to what? Despise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midst, my God Almighty, of me. Exit tone on. In the midst of me, people of God serving God, being into one or two sanctuary. You all need to understand what happened. I see myself being interviewed many of the time. This is no joke thing. God is something else. Because 
Don't care what this what the sanctuary is. As long as I go there, I always happen to talk with the leader without me pushing myself to them. It always happen. They always taking note of me. Because I always sit down the back. I don't like to sit in the middle. Don't put me in the middle of the, the, the congregation. I always like to sit down the back. Because when it's worship time, get out my way, let me praise my God. And I worship God. Oh. And when I'm there worshiping God, I don't look at nobody. But each time I, I take a spin, somebody's staring at me. I'm like, what the craziness is this? Is this church or is this a concert? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm always praising and worshiping God. And the Spirit of God always upon me. And I don't, my God, I might hesitate to shout and to hallelujah, glorify. Sometimes my mouth becomes so loud, especially if I'm in a small church. And they, my God Almighty, sometimes be surprised to say, Who is this woman worshipping like that? Uh, who is this woman? That, uh, people of God, I'm there praising in God. And when I think of the many things that I'm going through, I say, God, you're great because you kept me. And I have to praise you for this. And, you know, I'm just praising God because I know my experience living for him. Come on, people. And I would happen, my God Almighty, to be in the midst of them. Then they would talk to me. Oh, God Almighty. When they talk to me, people of God, not knowing, my God Almighty, that I don't have a sanctuary like them, but I have, my God Almighty, I have, my God, a shelter over my head, and I make the use of it by going on the telephone to pray for somebody where the Spirit of God can move, heal, deliver, set free. And when I tell my testimony, it becomes a problem to them. Oh, I have to be careful of this one. This one come here to take over. How could I come to take over when I don't ask you for your mic? Come on, people. How could I come to take over when you don't see me laying hands on your people, praying for them? Come on, talk to me. All I do, you said we can testify, and I want to give testimony because I see sick people in your congregation. Come on, talk to me. And freely for them to call to get their prayer at that time, I would do it. Come on, people. But then they start to sidestep me like a crab. If you notice crab, crab, you never see a crab walking in the street. When you start walking the street, they take the roadside. They take the corner. They make sure they go in the corner to, to, to separate them, themselves from you. Because they say, oh, that one look like they, that giant look like they will step on me. Let me get out their way. So that's how it happened, my God Almighty. And from the moment they understand and know what you're about, they started to what sidestep you. The congregation, the con the con conversation that you have yesterday, don't look to have it today. <laughs> because they know what you're about. And guess what? In the midst of myself here, I have my own little set of people that call me. I'm not, I'm not in there to get other people. Talking about people of God, they start to be specialized. Oh, that one. Somebody phone is acting up terrible. Come on, people, fix it out if you're doing something in the midst of you. That song that I'm hearing, please get rid of it, please. I'm not happy with it. I don't know if anyone else hear it. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody, either you have a child with something playing with or you, you yourself doing something. Please, people of God. Things go on the record. Uh. Hallelujah. The apostle ministering. Please do not make any personal requests. 
Lift up your faith and listen cleanly as the word of God is going forth. The Holy Spirit has brought you in. You will be located. Get your mind on the things of God and open your ears, sister. Amen. Apostle, go forth. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So what I was saying, people of God, is in the midst, my God Almighty, of that congregation, I find they started to treat me different. The man of God that talks so nice to me today, when he see me, just lift his hands and rush. Not to even say hi or you do. I'm not. I don't go there to listen to me. I never go into a sanctuary to look for any yet. Never. Amen. I never go in there to look for any. And I and I never go in there just to pull from the man of God. I go to give. I have so much on the inside to give. Amen. Because I'm I prepare myself before the Lord. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying, people. <clears throat> Yeah. And they don't know that. They don't. They they don't know the car. They don't know the special cargo that I'm carrying on the inside. So when I go in the midst of them, I go to let off. I don't go to to just get from them. I go to be in agreement with them and to sit. I always sit there praying for them while they are preaching, doing whatever. And they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. Like one day I was in a, 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 a church. One, one of the dead church. All it full of is nice and excitement. But not the spirit of God. And while I was there, my God Almighty, I see what was going on. Homosexual, this, that, 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 all kind of things taking place. And I sat there and I said, God, open the man of God's eyes. Let him see. And can able to call that one and pray for that one. And help to transform that one life. Da, 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 name it. And nothing happened, people of God. And I sat there. I could not, I could not even shout because there wasn't anything for me to shout about. What if you all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> and while I sat there, after everything, after the church service over, I've been accused how much I sit down quiet and don't even try to be in agreement with what the man of God is saying. I've, I've said to myself, but I can't be in agreement with somebody that is blind. Okay. How can I be in agreement with a person that is blind when they are dear, my God Almighty, and so much rubbish taking place? You want to hear something? The man very own child. Almost take away, ta been taken away by the spirit of the Illuminati. And they don't even see that. All they want to do is to have, have a, a loud, noisy time and go home and eat. Yeah. No deliverance, no this, no that, no nothing. And, and you see, because of that, because I tell them what I see and what was going on and what needed to be done by the grace of God, not by me, by the grace of God. I was, my God, I was told that I need to sit down and talk to, and, and I don't have no wisdom and knowledge and understanding of what service is, and I need, I need teaching, and I need this, and I need that, and I need all kind of things. That's what I was told, that they even was planning to have a, um, a class for me to come f leave from where I am to come to them so that they can teach me because I don't know nothing. Amen. And I decided, God bless. 
Father, cover Joshua under the blood. Remember, Lord God Almighty, minister gay everyone on the road this day. Cover them, Lord God Almighty, from the storms, the danger, accidents, seeing the unseen, everything. Keep them under the shadow of the Almighty. Take them out safely. Bring them in back. Remember my grandchildren, my children, everyone, God Almighty. Bless them and keep them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what I was saying, people of God, these are things that can show that there are many, they act just like the unbelievers, just like them. Because of their ways and their behavior, they still, you have many people, they still have the prejudice. The prejudice spirit in them, they, they, they only like, when you see, when you see, you go inside a, 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 a sanctuary, and if, if that person is from a Caribbean country or if that person is black or white or name it or so forth and they don't want to have anything to do with you. That means spirit are operating people. Spirit. Spirit are operating. Spirit. You know what I get in my spirit? There are t quite a few sanctuary that God sent me in. To help people. And because of these. Spirit that operate. Causes them to miss out. Miss out big time. I want to be all hear what I'm saying. They miss out big time that even sanctuary closed down. Because if you read the book of Paul. Paul himself, my God Almighty, sent others to go and help to build up church. Come on, people. Yes, amen. Seems like his only mother even on the line. Why, God, what have I done to you all out there? I'm here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just trying to make too much noise about We call it spirit. No, it's not. A, it's not. It's we not. I hear we what. Hear, hold on. Hold on. on hold on. Hold on. Too much people up in the phone now. Yeah. Too much people up in the phone now. It's just a no, way. It's, it's just a way of of just for you to say amen. Thank you, Jesus, or whatever. Oh, but, I could say that. I could say that. That's I I mean, is there a case where you listen to the, the, the YouTube channel when teaching, preaching, or whatever is going on? If you don't be in agreement with the word, how can God move? Amen. He said when one or two are gathered, touching in agreement, he is in the midst. It, is, it must be agreement. The only way you can agree is when you said amen. Amen mean agreement. Okay. Okay. And or you can say yes, Lord, name it. But softly say it. Don't come up too much in your phone because you will knock me out. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. Not to speak up in your phone. Keep your phone distant from you. Glory be to oh. God. Amen. Thank you. So right there, people of God, we can look at unbelievers, but we can act like them. Know that God exists, okay. worship him, name it and what have you, but the spirit inside of us are just like the unbelievers. Yes, amen. What fellowship has the unrighteousness? What fellowship of the unrighteousness with the unrighteous? What, fellow, what fellowship had the righteousness with the unrighteousness? It is a question, what fellowship? The fellowship that you must have with them, when you see them, tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't act like they don't exist. Don't skin up your nose. Do like my, don't do like the go, the, 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 all those bad Samaritan. That pass the man on the roadside. And say nothing. 
He's there bleeding. He's wounded. He need help. He can't talk much. And you just pass and look at him as if it's nothing. I have seen in the midst of the, um, the computer when I go on it. And we go, you would watch things, come clippings that they have in New York City. In um, Manhattan. Where they would put somebody on the roadsides. And they would have that person sitting down begging and whatever, asking for food. And all that person there, so many people would pass. But you will find even a person come and said, Are you hungry? And the person would say yes. And they would take that person ready to buy food for that person. And that person would stop along the way and said, You're a good, good person. Because we set these things up to see how mean and disgusting people can be. And I rise up to tell you there are many there that is even on the choir singing, Hallelujah. Giving God the highest praise when their praise are not clean. Have no compassion, have no love, have no pity, have nothing about them. Amen, amen, Jesus. I have seen my God Almighty. People can, a person can be the most pretender. Come in the house of God. They nice and clean and everything with those that they see dress like them, look like them, talk like them, praise like them, do everything like them. But after church, they scorn and their stomach is sick to see others out there. How can we live for the Lord Jesus Christ doing these things? Amen. How can we? How can we? We need to, my God, that is the reason why the word of God must taught in such a way, people of God, where we can learn it with the spirit of God in the midst to get that understanding. Amen. One of you all get what I'm saying. Yes, yes, the Bible yes. said we are not to be like them, but the Bible said said it didn't say we are to scorn them or to treat them as if they don't exist. Because Jesus Christ Himself, He happened, my God Almighty, to be in the midst of everyone, my God Almighty, to show. You see what the Word of God said? He makes Himself poor so that we can be rich. Many times, my God Almighty, God can't able to use some people talking about you want the power of God to do what? To only heal the rich? To only heal those that have money? To only heal those that can give you things? To only do for those that can pay you or give you a big offering or a big tithes? Amen. Many, my God Almighty, leaders out there that you see, many people that are taking upon themselves, claim that they are doing church, this, that, and the other. They are walking with hatred, spir um, rebellious spirit, prejudice. They don't love. They don't even know to love them very self. Amen. Because a person that know how to love themselves will fear God and will live and do what God wants you to do. That's how you come to love yourself. Yeah. Know that there's a God up there that is watching and see and know everything. Not because the world, everybody of, not everybody, majority people of this word here, Second Corinthians 6, verses 14, Be ye not unequally yoke with unbelievers. Many people believe because it said that they hate unbelievers, they criticize unbelievers, but many don't understand that while they are hating someone out on the road, the same it is my God Almighty transferring in your very house. Oh, amen. In your very house. 
Yeah. It transfer. Oh, because eight is eight. And when you take up that spirit, it don't leave you. That's why I don't practice to say that word if I don't have to. <clears throat> Amen. I don't practice to say that word. The p best way we can speak is say, I'm not into those things. I don't want to get involved. I don't like those things, and so I'm not going near it. Don't practice to talk about, I hate, I hate, I hate. Because hate when, when you're ready to speak and say you hate, make sure that love surround your heart, in your heart, around your heart, and uh, uh, all over in you, and over you. Make sure. Thank you. That's why many people sin. Amen. Amen. That's why many people sin. My God Almighty. God tell you to, um, not to be unequally yoked. He said, if you notice what it said, don't be unequally yoked. That means don't be equal as the sinners them. You must be above them in the spirit, not in body. Not in people of God, the natural, but in the spirit. Amen, Jesus. In the spirit. Thank the Lord. In the spirit, don't scorn. That's why, my God Almighty, you know, many of us miss out on our blessing. Did you know the Lord Jesus Christ, the same Lord yesterday, today, and forever? He can come and serve himself at a corner as a madman. And many people don't know his him. Yeah. One of you all hear what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit can be in the midst of, midst of that person, yeah? Come on, people. Yeah. Begging. Yeah. Stretching out, beg him. Amen. And some of you, you have people that are a child of God will spit on them. I see it happen before. Why this nasty, dirty man touch me? Oh, don't touch me. Jesus Christ, God Almighty, can you understand how hurt and disgraceful that is? You don't know what will happen to you tomorrow. Amen. Amen. You don't know. These are spirits that the children of God need to get rid of. That spirit of pride and arrogancy, it builds up bitterness. It builds up hatred. Some people, my God Almighty, because they go through so much, they don't believe they must let go from the pain. Oh, you don't know what, you don't know what I've been through. Oh, you don't know. What if I was to tell people that when they want prayer or, or, or for me to do the work of God? What if I was to tell people that? How, how would I manage? What would become of me? Could I look at him calling him my boon and it's for him to accept that name from me? It would grieve him to hear me calling him is calling him my bunununus. He would say for what? How could I be your bunununus and you scorn my people? You you pretend to love them. Many people when they're on the pulpit, it's a great pretender. As the man said, Oh yes, I'm the greatest pretender. These spirits still operate in the house of God. Amen. In the midst of the children of the most high God. These spirits still operate. My God Almighty. Amen. Jesus Christ, have mercy. Have mercy, God Almighty. Have mercy. Have Some mercy. people, because my God Almighty, they have money. Hey, Jesus, help us. 